dearing me, that was horrible. Um, hello guys, welcome back to another video. Um, wow, that was, um, can't really put that into words other than awful, shambolic, spineless, gutless. Um, I'm just lost for words at this point. It's embarrassing. It's, it is embarrassing now. 3-0 to West Brom. I know Chelsea has lost to them 5-2. And we've been played off of the park by the team that's 19th in the Premier League. That's summed up our second half of the season, really, hasn't it? We'll get on to player ratings in a minute. And I think if you're a neutral, you're going to enjoy that, or a West Brom fan. But, yeah, <sighs> what else can I say? Absolutely awful performance. First half, awful. Should have lost that game 4-0. They had a goal that was somehow ruled out for offside even though he's miles on um then they get their deserved goal one nil up from the spot four stuff what are you doing you know what i mean you might as well just get harry lewis in goal he well he can't do any worse can he at the end of the day but again i just i don't know i don't know it's just absolutely awful we've lost three nil to west brom they played us off the park it was tuned down at half time. Absolutely awful defending for the second goal and for the third one. We were all over them, second half, all over them is a bit kind. We had, we were mostly in their box. We had most of the chances. Didn't have a single shot. Yeah, what seemed like didn't have a good chance apart from one game, apart from the 94th minute. All Prowse summed up the game, missed the penalty. Absolutely dreadful penalty as well. Um, just, I don't know. I can't really put it into words. As I said it's absolutely awful. It really is dreadful. Um, and we'll get on to player ratings now. Forster, one. Didn't make a save, I don't think, all game. Maybe one. For the first disallowed goal, he, awful. What are you doing? Palms it straight to him. Gives away a penalty as well. Um, and again, I don't think there's really anything you can do with the second or third goals. But one. Maybe two, maybe 1.5, something like that. Walker Peters, probably up there for man of the match. Created a few chances early on, but probably a four, to be honest. And that's a man of the match contender. It's shocking. It really is. Vestergaard and Bednarek, both two, I'd say. Bednarek has been awful since the start of the year. Uh, it's his birthday today. I won't go too much in on him, but again, he's just been awful for 2021. Uh, Vestergaard, seven seasons since he's gone back from injury, he's been awful. He has a couple good performances. That's it. I hate to say it, but, you know, I suppose 18 million for him. If he doesn't improve, maybe we have to take it at this point. Left back Bertrand, two again. Poor from him again. Just, he looks, Bertrand looks so, um, I can't just say about Bertrand, I have to say about all the players. I can't just go in on him for this. They look so unwilling to do anything. I know, I thought last week was going to be a turning point. Uh, the being Burnley 3-2. We finally get some momentum, but no, that momentum goes straight downhill straight away. It's shocking. Armstrong, two again. I don't think he touched the ball. If so, he did like seven times, if maximum. You know what I mean? Again, absolutely awful. War Prowse, two. Made a couple of good passes. Set pieces were invisible. Penalty missed. Can you get a worse performance from your captain? Um... You know, I mean, Diallo, I think I have to give a one again. I think for the FA Cup semi final, why not give Jankovic a go? I don't care, he got sent off against Man United. He was really good for the in the under 21 Euros for Switzerland, so give him a go, I'd say. Might as well, we're not going to win anyway. And uh, we, we really miss Romu in that midfield for me. Um, again, we can just tell Diallo, he's been all right when he's played, but today was just an absolutely shambolic performance from him. Um, Another winger, um, Redmond, back to his usual self this season. Two, again, didn't hardly do anything. Minamino should have played today. He can't play in the FA Cup anyway. because He would be, have been cup tied. We really, as I said, we should play Minamino that game. Um, and rested Redmond or Armstrong. And why didn't we, to be honest, he didn't even come on. Jennifer, when he came on, did more than Redmond and Armstrong did the whole game on a penalty. Uh uh, but was missed, of course. Uh, Walcott won, was absolutely dreadful, should have been dragged off at half-time, uh, but took them 76 minutes to make a substitute. It's embarrassing from Ralph to do that. He needs to sort that out, because he needs to go in on these players. It's not good enough. Um, to, he's not made a substitute to the 76th minute when we're 3-0 down to West Brom. It's embarrassing. You know what I mean? He needs to sort that out. Walcott, he does awful all game. 
he was he didn't do anything apart from give away the ball and he doesn't get subbed off to the 76th minute it's embarrassing Adam should have started anyway Walcott wasn't even good against Burnley to be totally honest and Ings too I'd have to say again he hardly touched it and he had a good few shots I think he had more touches in our box than he did in their box it sums it all up really doesn't it Jennifer probably man of the match five he won a penalty that's all I can say um, and the others, they came in the 89th minute or something like that. So they're ungradable, aren't they? Well, Jennifer actually did come off the 89th minute. Adams, again, I don't think he's ungradable. I don't think he touched the ball, neither did Teller, I don't think. So, yeah, that's the player range done. I think the highest what I gave was a three or four for Walker Peters. And, again, it's awful. Uh, FA Cup semi-final at the weekend. If we win that, we're going to lose 10-0 in the final, probably, to Chelsea or City. But we're not going to win it anyway. Uh, uh, we might as well just give some... We need to rotate a lot. I think um, McCarthy won't play. Um, but I think he should maybe come back in if Force makes any more mistakes. I know it's not good to keep chopping and changing goalkeepers. But we really are still not safe. And to have that silly mistake that he's done there for that penalty, we can't have that, to be honest. Um, um, again, I think Salah soon needs to have a go in that FA Cup semi-final 100% for Bednarek. Bednarek. He's played too much football this year and his performance have really dwindled from it. As I said, I think Jankovic should be given a go in for Diallo. Why not? You might as well. I know, I know, I know he got sent off after two minutes on his debut and that's awful, but he deserves a second chance. You can't just say he's had two minutes of football made one silly challenge. He's going to learn from that at the end of the day, isn't he? But again, I think he should come in. I think Adams definitely should come in. I think uh, Jennifer should start, I think, as well. But because why not? You know, we need to test players for the league because we're not going to win that tie unless Leicester are really having a bad day. And if I look at a run-in, I'm really um, not impressed. We've got Leeds, I think, Spurs, West Ham, Liverpool. Um, tough, tough, tough teams. We've got someone else as well. Some We've got some tough, tough teams in there. Leicester as well we've got in the league. So we've got Spurs, uh, Leicester, Liverpool, Leeds, West Ham from the last was it seven games now I think and then we've got Palace as well I think in that we're probably not going to win that we've got Fulham probably not going to win that we can I mean if we win the Palace and Fulham games I'm pretty sure it's done but who knows so I think who else have we got I think we've got another tough team to be honest it's not looking good for the running it's not looking good and I mean, I think West Brom, they're on their way up. They've won back-to-back -back games. They've destroyed Saints and Chelsea in the past two games. And, you know, we do need to be looking over our shoulder a little bit because with performances like that, with the running we have, we're not safe. And if we don't go down this season, I'm really worried for next season. Even if we do bring in new players, we'll have to wait and see, won't we? That's for another whole video. But thank you for watching today, guys. Sorry for the bit of the, the down video, but... You know, I mean, what can I say? We've lost 3-0 to West Brom at the end of the day. If you did enjoy the video, again, probably because you're a West Brom fan, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you are new around here. Um, if the comments are enabled, tell me what you thought of that game. Um, yeah, just gutless, spineless, atrocious, awful, embarrassing, the lot of them. There's so many words I can come up with, but I think that's what I'm going to have to end this video today here. Thank you for watching today, guys, and I'll see you soon.